Welcome to Unearthing the Supernaturals Season Finale. In tonight's haunting episode, we join the crew as they return to the world-famous Vulture City Mine, an abandoned ghost town nestled in the sacred Vulture Peak Mountains just northwest of Phoenix, Arizona. A paranormal hotspot of beings spanning multiple realms. It is here that the Unearthing the Supernatural crew unearthed the truth of giants and creatures of ancient times that used to prey on humans. These ancient terrors, killed by heroes of old, are said to be buried beneath the ghost town, and new expansions of the still operational gold mine have stirred up even more activity. The town has recently seen an influx of paranormal activity. Unearthing the Supernatural had recently been featured in an episode of Ghost Adventures where they help the crew find evidence to back up the stories of old. Evidence of these beings was also reinforced by various paranormal teams and experts since its rediscovery. Sightings of cryptid beasts, spiritual draining, dark energy, and the spirits that call Vulture City home being more pronounced. It has beckoned the Unearthing the Supernatural crew back to see what new energy has been released on the town. Joined by world-famous investigators Jay and Marie Yates, the caretakers of Vulture City, the crew will investigate the haunted buildings of this Old West town. We meet the crew at the Old Blacksmith Shop, where they are investigating the sightings of cryptid beasts. They are armed with their sacred weapons and protections for caution that the ancient prophecies of the beasts of old living again. This is the spirit of greed here with me this evening. Bulls. in the shadows in this building. I'm not getting out. Push it. I'm not sitting either. How come you ask? I feel more comfortable standing. the name of the spirit that's touching that device? Or near that device? So that shit, right? Yeah. Is there any monsters? in this area or on this land. Is there any beasts on this land? What's your name? Say Tom. Yeah. So I've always thought they were just a little light right Tom. here. See that? Right 
that up if you really like it. Awesome. Glad you like it. Shit. Awesome. Are you done? Do you want me to move it anyway? Do you want him to rotate it? I can rotate it to the other side. Yeah, it's lighting up. Okay. I'll rotate it. Excuse me. Don't mean to intrude. Yeah, here's the other side of it. Look, it's dirty. I'll lay it this way as well. Oh. Oh. This might actually end up being the blacksmith that we're talking to. Like, we're not. Like, as far as you're doing this here. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? If you can light that up to a red, that would mean that you're very impressed by that work. Are you impressed? No. You can do better, huh? <laughs> I know you can do better. <laughs> I believe you can. Are you are you noticing any flaws in it? Oh gosh. something like that? How much would you charge? I'd like to be able to get a call from Jay one day and see a nice beautiful sword laying on the table. 
If there is a nice, beautiful sword oh, laying on that table. I went red. Yeah, see? <laughs> if there could be a nice, beautiful sword laid on the table oh, right here, I'll... <laughs> I'll give you a gold piece. I'll leave it here for you. You can take God, it. If the guest comes walking up to me in a couple weeks with a fucking samurai sword, <laughs> they definitely give you guys a call. <laughs> hey, <laughs> place an order. <laughs> Your order's in. <laughs> if you can do that, yeah, that'd be awesome. All for the communication that you've done for us, I'm gonna leave some tobacco here for you. Is that okay? I'm really thankful for the communication. Here's some tobacco here. I'll leave it right here for you. Thank you. With the spiritual order in the works for a sword made from the other side and a genuine conversation with the blacksmith, the crew makes their way to the Assay building. Unearthing the Supernatural has a strong history with this building, with the bridge to the other realms seemingly centered within its walls. The crew attempts to make contact with the leaders of the town. Joined by J. Murray Yates, the crew will attempt to unearth the reason for the influx of paranormal activity at Vulture City. Are you the are you the one that wanted to hang him last time? Are there any Native Americans in this building? There's one it said. What are you doing out here? Hey, what's this team? Doku. 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 Dude, what does that mean? Doku? Haji. Hey, Haji. He can't find himself. Who you are born for? Who's your father's clan? Ashi. I heard Doku sleep. That's me, Doko asleep. I thought he said a she, huh? A she, huh? So you're a brother? <laughs> Shit. So, uh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Why you gotta bring that up? I think, I think it's reading us. <laughs> so, Shin is a word, is just a phrase that one like, like, a. Hey. But that is like. It's, it's like our thing that was recent. Yeah. Oh. It's like a saying that we say, it's like, it's kind of like, oh my god, like we say, shin. Are there monsters outside? Yes, sir. See? Are you scared Everyone's of them? Everyone's saying yes in their languages. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of those spirits that are around here, they're all coming through trying to tell us something. The giants, the reason why I think a lot of these beings here are scared of the giants, um, historically the Yeitso ate people. Whoa, shit. The Yeitso would eat people. They were the reason Jeez. for monster slayers to come around and Wipe them off this earth. They buried that ultimate evil here underneath these sacred grounds. 
now that evil's being released, that Yeitzo, those giants, are roaming around. And they may not be physical yet, but their spiritual entities still may seek around feasting on whether it be human flesh or human fear. You think there could be like some of these spirits here too they could be eating? Yeah. If the spirits roam outside, they may be eaten. San Francisco Peaks no in Flagstaff. It's the goat sleep is the, the Navajo name. That's what we call the mountain. Bird? Looking at your um, symbol. Your feather? All our feathers. Yes. Zeta. Kolaha. Chill thoughts is safety. Costa itchish chat is tossin. Epish chocolate. What? <laughs> okay, so for you regular spirits, uh, I'm not trying to. This spiritual language. I'm calling out the one that's reading who we are. Someone knows who we are. I've seen you before. Holy shit. <laughs> so you don't think it's a native? You think they're just reading what you guys are? There's there's only one being, there's only a certain being, a, a malicious entity that can read people like a book. It reads who they are, their true history, their true past. <laughs> And they have a lot of voices. Do you know who Darkest is? So some demonology background on who Darkest is. Darkest, um, I'm not sure if, if you guys are familiar with the 33 um, generals of hell. So the 33 generals of hell. The, um, I believe it's the 23rd general, his captain, he has, uh, one of his captains of his legions is named Darkus. You think it, it's here? I don't think it's here. I'm referencing it because Darkus was actually, what come to find out, was actually one of the, uh, captains of the legions of the southwest of that area, so he was posted, posted up there. If these guys know who he is, if the dark demons that are around here recognize that name, and then they understand the story of how we ousted him from his post, we were getting messages uh, basically saying, you, you, you got him away, you chased him away. From and other locations. Other locations as well. So we're curious if that message is spreading across the spirit world. Sit. 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 We're not afraid. We're curious. Take the body, hide the body. Oh, that was a weird mist. It went by the thing. Oh, the yeah, ice. yeah. It was like a, it wasn't like an orb. It was like a weird wispy mist. Was that you that walked by? You said Ethan. I saw him in the corner. I thought it, I heard light. Chinese. There was Chinese people that used to work here. Uh, I just thought I heard Chinese. Is there any Chinese here with us? Or Japanese. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Who touched him? Hello. Flash like on above the raptor rafter on that side of the wall, like a little flash up there. It's been happening all night, huh? Like this weird, like lighting on me. Yeah. Cool. We call this a dam. Avoka. Shift, you go. Ambitious? No, Bishop's hand. Oh, shit. Chicken say. I'm talking about the spiritual hell pretty much. Chick got the sick in the aching. Sit this stick up. I'm not gonna die. You, you guys have tried. Okay. I'm here in the center of the room. Me too, it says. Okay. Oh, holy shit. So. We're out. Bait? It says ward out and bait. Who's there? Shit, hey, we kid you? That knocked back. <laughs> what does my name mean? It's an angel. What does my name mean? The 
one of the shows. You almost got it. One more word. Crawl space. Whoa, what the hell is that? Over here. Dude, over I here. saw something like, I thought I saw something like shooting across the floor. I'm seeing the weird There's black mist and shit. There's a light over here. Like it, it, it's, it was like crawling, huh? It was like, like this. Same time. It reminded me of something I've seen in Superior at the old high school. It, it looks like it went down to this hole. Do you have Kowalski? I do not. He's in the truck. I have currency. What is this I'm holding in my hand? Spirits are behind that us. That was pretty clear. We're all here. Bostanaftaki. Bostesi. Kishcha. Hey, 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 hey. Huh. Something tugged at my arrowhead on my neck. Oh, shit. Look, 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 look. My, my, my hands, my hands are trying to plug this IR light in and something tugged at my arrowhead. Yeah, that's 
that's something I've not ever heard them say in this app in here. Or in the whole property, I've never heard that word. Was there a sacrifice? Blood was spilled in here, though. There was, uh, allegedly, what, like, uh, they shot a guy in the back door here. And then we had also had the guy that hung himself. And then the other side of this is the hanging tree. But, uh, the blood, I was, I was trying to say, because I hear him saying it, the blood that was on Stefan's car is what they're talking about. Did I say God? I'm sure if you didn't have one, it's going to burn. Yeah, like some, something just spread blood all over his vehicle. Yeah, we never told you guys about that. Yeah. Were you the one responsible for the blood that was on the guy that lives here his vehicle? said to be the dark representative of the Naga entities of Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Indian, Eastern, and South American beliefs. Narkad is a dark representative of this race, as his name is spread across the world, and his deeds echo throughout time. He reigns as one of the captains of higher rank than some of the Goetia of Hell, and commands armies within the nether regions of creation. With the body of a snake, and the torso of a devil. It is said this demon has poisons that can kill even the gods themselves. Many high-ranking beings of the darkness come to Narkod and seek of such poisons and concoctions. The king snakes themselves bow to his presence. What purpose could Narkod be here in Vulture City? Does it have to do with the mind and the summoning of the cryptids and giants of old? Is that who commands here? Is he the leader? Are you Nefgut? It's a demon, bro. Like straight up, said demon. Death God. What is your command here? What is your rank? one who's summoning these monsters here. Did the hell beings come from this ground here? Does hell walk on earth again? Say yes. monsters outside? Are they here to harm people? Die. Well, that's God. I'm sure you can hear from Darkus. 
He didn't have a fun time with me. Hellspawn. Hellspawn. Well, now it's God. Yes. You know, there's beings like me. I'm not the only one. There's guardians all around. Does that frighten you? Human entities that are giving gifts again to be able to protect this earth. Protect this earth. Protect this earth. After making his presence known, Nartgod returned to the still active mine to continue his dark deeds. Making connections with the entities of the town and revealing the leader of the dark operations. What really is going on here at Vulture City? Is darkness really attempting to bring to fruition the old prophecies of making monsters and beasts from hell roam this land? once more. Several ceremonies over several days commenced. With the help of local tribes and spirits, the guardians, known as the Gon, were set in place to actively counter those dark missions, to protect the sacred lands once more, and to protect the innocent beings that call Vulture City home. Only time will tell the outcomes of the never-ending battles between good and evil. Future visits will reveal more secrets and further blessings to restore the sacred grounds to their protective state. As we conclude Season 1 of Unearthing the Supernatural, we fondly look back at the amazing journey that has brought us to this point. <laughs> Closer and closer to our destination, we find ourselves always running into these red light storms. What? 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 From starting with minimal equipment and huge ambitions to spread who we are and what we do, and truly helping the spirits of this world, to making lifelong friends at each location. From starting our YouTube channel, to being featured on Ghost Adventures, from having only friends and family enjoying our content, to our now national audience of fellow unearthers. We would like to express our deepest thanks and gratitude to everyone along the way who has made this amazing journey possible. From Sean Klen, Hiro, Mataya, Naurio, and Kolka, we extend our gratitude and blessings to everyone, both physical and spiritual. We want to show a little bit of our world to you, the fans, and want to show some of our Native American culture and how we interact with the worlds that coexist with each and every one of us. More teachings, more blessings, and more interactions are on the horizon. Thank you for growing with us, and we look forward to continuing to grow in the journeys and adventures to come. This honor song is for all beings of creation, and for our journey ahead, and for you, our family, you all, our fellow unearthers. May blessings come to all of you, and may your journey be worthy of legend. We are few of many, one story of thousands. Let us hear yours.